Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Kronig from Sweden. It's a squonker which you can get in 18650 or 21700 sizes. Sizes? You know what I mean. So basically there's one that takes 18650 batteries and there's one that takes 21700 batteries. The 18650 takes 8 mil, it has an 8 mil bottle and the 21700 has a 12 mil bottle and obviously the mod is going to be bigger as well. Now I have the 21700 one here uh, so I'll show you that, I'll give you the dimensions but I'll also give you the dimensions for the smaller one as well so you have a comparison. Now normally I will, uh, you know, I'll show you the box, I'll show you the mod, I'll give you all the spec and all the rest of it but um, I've got juice in this, I really like vaping with it so I'll just, that's it. It's really good, go and buy one. Uh, that, that's the review because I, I don't want to take it to bits but I suppose I'd better. <laughs> anyway, close-ups. Now we have a, a, a big old muckle box here and it is, it's a big box and excuse the fact that it's, it's covered in juice stains but uh, in my shed everything's covered in juice. Inside this is the money shot. So once again this is the 21700 version. We have our mod, we have our bottle and we have two doors. What I'll do is I'll put the dimensions for the 21700 and the 18650 down below so that you can compare the two different sizes. The mod itself is made from, uh, it's a billet, you know, it's made from a box billet aluminium. It's a T6-6061. You've seen this used in, in, in other devices, you know, but it's also used in, you know, the military use it and it's used in aeronautics as well. Uh, they also have a coating that goes over this to protect it from scratches and, you know, in the time I've had it, you know, it's not been babied this. I've just cleaned it down before I started recording this review and there is not one single scratch or mark on this. It is holding up very, very well. Once again, with the 21700, you get this uh, 12 mil capacity bottle and an 8 mil capacity bottle for the 18650 version. And it's, you know, this is soft silicon, this one. I think you may get two bottles. I got two bottles with mine. So, uh, you know, this one's got a, a blanking cap on top of it so that, you know, you can seal this up and carry it about with you if you wanted. Excuse me while I chase that across my desk. And it does have the, the Kronig Mod. And it does have the Kronig. And it does have the Kronig Mods logo on it. You get the standard door that comes with it. Once again, this is billet uh, and aluminium. And we've got that coating. And we have Kronig Mods going on here. And you can see that it states this takes 20 or 21700 batteries. We also have a big beefy magnet down the bottom here, which corresponds with the bottom of the mod, so that holds the door in place. So not only do you get this, but you get the, you know, you get to choose a stab wood door as well. So once again, we've got the, this billet going on here, but we have this layer of stabilized wood. And this also has two layers of clear coat on top of it to protect the wood. And once again, it's holding up really well. Obviously, it's not a long term review this. I've not had it for months, uh, but I'm, I am impressed. So far, I am impressed with how it's holding up. And I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, you can see we have a serial number going on inside the mod here. We have our battery direction. We have plus and minus. Uh, up the top we do have a Mod Dog 510 connector. It's the, the Nano 22 BF. Now this is not spring loaded. You have to use a screwdriver to adjust this and it's reverse threaded. So yeah, you, most of you that are watching this video will know what that means. But uh, if you don't, basically if you put an ATI in and it doesn't fire, you have to manually adjust the height of the 510 pin inside the 510 there. Some purists out there prefer this. They think, you know, you get a better connection. There's less voltage drop. And some people just prefer to have, you know, one that adjusts automatically for you. Me, I'm not really bothered either way. But this is the, the silvered out, you know, it's all silver plated and whatnot in here for the 510. We also have this little wheel here. You can turn that and you can see just now I'm unlocked. Turn it back and I'm now locked. We have a silver strip running down here. It's then got insulation on it round here and round the bottom. And there's our other positive contact down the bottom here. So you can see positive and negative contacts. So the door, you'll see that we have, uh, you know, we have a little cut out here. So this just goes on like this and just 
slides and you get that great click so I can just push this down and yeah, it, it's going nowhere you know you do have to put a fair, fair bit of force onto that to get it to slide down but it slides on and off no problem at all I would over time you know you'll probably have to clean out you know in here make sure if you get dust and grit in here you know you'll have to clean it out periodically if you find that this is getting too rough or if it's jamming then it'll probably be because you've got dirt build up in here and popping on the matchy matchy door here pop that on and there is part of me that does actually prefer this look uh, but um, it looks gorgeous with both doors on there's the, yeah it is nice the fire button is flush it's it's completely flush here uh, and it's got a nice little short throw on it it's for me the fire button's perfect some people don't like a completely flush button some people like it raised but um, yeah either way it works well I will also say, I forgot to add this, I really like the, the logo on here as well. And once you put the bottle in here with the, the company logo on it, you know, the two matching logos, it does look really smart. So this is the bottle that I've been using. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And I like this because, you know, you've got the logo here, we've got the logo here, and, and I think that looks really smart. Battery wise, I'm using one of the new Samsungs, so we're going to take the positive, we're going to put it down. Uh, now, I tend to, or what I found is that when putting the battery in, just at a slight tiny little angle, so I have the negative end just lifted just a tiny little bit when I'm putting this battery in, pop it in like that, and then just push it down, and there we go. To get the battery out, the only way to do it is to, you have to pop the bottle out, take that out like that, and then you can roll the battery out, uh, or, or stick your thumb through here and roll it out that way, but I prefer just to stick my hand in here and just grab it like that, and just gently roll the battery until it comes out, and that's it. But I'll just pop that back in just now, doink, in she goes, we get the stab wood door, pop that on, click, into place. And it is, it's really nice. Um, it looks gorgeous with that stab wood door. And round the front, excuse me, that's just a little bit of e-liquid there. And yeah, it does look good, this thing. I've got my Skyfall RDA with the, this is the DLC top cap on here. And I just, <laughs> it's gorgeous. I'm locked just now, slide that down. Uh, the locking ring is made from Teflon. And give her a quick fire working away quite the thing. And that's it for the up close for the Kronig. Right, let's go for a vape. Now pricing. Uh, you're looking at 235 euros for the 18650 and you're looking at 255 euros for the 2700, 21700. You do have to go along to a Facebook group and sign up and there will be lists and so on there but every once in a while they do you know rat quick strikes randomizers things like that so you can go down that route as well but Facebook group is where you want to go you will if you you know you get your slot you will have to pay a deposit uh, you have to put a deposit down of about 150 euros then after that you get to choose the stab wood panel that you want and then you've got a couple of weeks after that before you have to you know the model gets sent out and you will pay the the rest of what you owe on that mod now i'm not a huge fan of pre-orders most folk know that um, i'm not going to get into all that but uh, it is what it is and, and i've explained how the process works these guys have been around for quite some time now. They have a very good reputation, so uh, you can go into the Facebook group, which I would suggest you do, and speak to existing customers and get a feel for what this company is all about. As for the mod itself, now, hand on heart, when I initially got it, I'd seen photos, I've read people talking about it and all the rest of it, and I just thought, I'm not a fan of having just one door just one door with one stab wood panel and nothing on this side it, aesthetically i'm not a huge fan of it but i will admit that since i've had and owned the mod and playing with it on a day-to-day -day basis initially I, I i always had this so it was matching all the way around but now i always vape it with this i just the finishing on this, the two coats on here just give it an amazing sheen and it just looks stunning. Whatever coating that, that 
they've got on that billet, that aluminium, it's it's hard wearing and and I've had this in my pocket, I've had it out and about, it's not been babied and it's holding up well. I've had some other mods that have gone through the same treatment and they have not held up nearly as well as this had. So the finishing, the coatings and so on, I am impressed with. Full silver out contacts and you know it's, it's all silver contacts. It's a mech, it's a box. It's made out of billet aluminium. Um, it's not reinventing the wheel. It's nothing you haven't seen in the vape industry before or, or that I don't have up on my shelf already. Where the difference is, is in the quality. Uh, this is made exceptionally well. Uh, it's, I've, it's made very, very well. That, that yeah. Gonna beat around the bush. It's not shit, not by any stretch of the imagination. It's made very well. Yeah, some people don't like the whole manually adjusting the 510 pin. Um, if you're using the same atty day in day out, it's never going to bother you. But for people like me that change attics all the time, yeah, it can be a bit of a ball buster. But manually adjust it, and it is reverse threaded. I am going to say at, at this point, two thumbs up. Presentation what you get, everything, 12ml bottle of juice, a 21700 battery in there, it's very very good. I do have some negatives, I, I, I will get to that. Um, in fact, I, the only negatives I have, now when I first got this, full transparency, when I was putting my batteries in and out, and it's the brand new Samsung 30Ts, uh, 21700s, I was getting, they were, it was starting to damage the battery wraps. Now I contacted the guys and I explained this and I asked if it was an issue. And they said they hadn't heard of anybody else having the issue, but as usual it's me that causes the issue. So what they did is, normally what happens is, they have a bit of 3M tape. Sticky tape, double sided sticky tape if you like. And it sits on the base of this contact here in the bottom of the box. It's a certain thickness, so what they did was they sent out a new contact to me with a thinner slice of 3M tape, which now means that the battery goes in no problem. It's still tight, but it's not causing any damage to the actual battery wraps. I do believe they are now looking at uh, actually shaving down the height of the contacts here as well, just to, to make sure that there's you've got a tight fit but it's not causing any damage. And I'm glad. I'm glad I had that issue. I'm glad that they're going away and they're looking at it and they're making the changes. Because that's how, that's how companies should work. They should listen to customer feedback and make these changes as they come up. The only other negative, if you want to call it that, is the fact that you do have to take the bottle out to get the battery out. Uh, you do, you have to just poke your finger through there, poke the bottle out, take it out, and that's how you get to your battery. Um, yes, that could be considered a negative by quite a few people. Is it comfortable to vape with? Well, yes, because every corner's round, it's all smoothed and rounded off. There's no sharp edges anywhere here. It's all, it's very comfortable to hold in the hand. And, and strange, I mean, I know it's an, from a billet, aluminium billet, uh, it, it's, it's not cold. Sometimes that's I know that sounds strange. It's not cold. I don't know what this coating is, but it's done really well. Anyway, enough talking, let's have a vape. Now one thing that I never mentioned in the close-ups is see in the top at the 510, see how there's that little lip just coming out there? So that means that you can actually put a 24mm RDA on here and you won't really have any overhang as such. Uh, but yeah, 24mm RDA goes on here, no problem in the 21700 version. As a whole, for the mod, I think the mod is done very, very well. And I personally really like it. I think, I mean, just the firing button again, just to show you this, the firing button again, before I forget, that's how far in it goes. It's very light, there's there's no, it's not heavy, and yeah, I'll shut up now. I'm going to go, or I'll start gushing. Thank you to uh, Alfredo and to Christoph. Uh, guys, you've been great, you've been very helpful when it came to this review. It was a pleasure meeting you in Germany, and thanks for trusting me to show this off to the world. Uh, 
to you guys as always thank you for watching if you have any questions on this I would first port of call go to the link in the description and go to the Facebook group and ask your questions there if there's anything I can help with just post in the video below but as always bye for now to the side of me you will find two other videos that I think you may be interested in as always please feel free to leave comments to the video below cheers